What is going on? It is the Obscurus Tourist, and today I come to you from, can you guess? There's some ruins behind me there. I am here in Two Guns, Arizona. Probably the first real ghost town I stumbled upon during my first cross-country U.S. road trip sometime around 2015. And I haven't been back since until today. So I'm so excited to show you what this place has to offer because it is steeped in some pretty gory and sad history. And there might even be a curse on this place, on the land that it sits on. So without further ado, let's show you around two guns. It is unknown when Two Guns was first settled, but native artifacts dated between 1050 and 1600 have been discovered on the grounds over the years. As white settlers began to populate the area in the mid-19th century, Two Guns was recognized as an ideal place to cross Canyon Diablo, first by wagon, then later by vehicle. Two Guns was the site of a mass murder of Apaches by their Navajo enemies in 1878. It's believed that some Apaches had hidden in a cave at Two Guns to avoid detection, but were discovered by the Navajo, who lit sagebrush fires at the cave's exit and shot any Apaches trying to escape. The fire asphyxiated 42 Apaches, after which they were stripped of their valuables. The murder site is now referred to as the Death Cave. The first settler at Two Guns was Ed Randolph, who built a store right next to the Death Cave. Then, in 1922, Earl and Louise Cundiff purchased 320 acres of land from Randolph and built a store, restaurant, and even gasoline pumps. A man named Harry E. Miller then leased a property from the Cundiffs in 1925 and began extensive construction on the land. Calling himself Chief Crazy Thunder, Miller reimagined the town, still called Canyon Lodge at the time, as a tourist destination, constructing fake ruins which included an artificial Hopi house and even adding a zoo. The small roadside menagerie featured animals native to the southwest, such as mountain lions, Gila monsters, bobcats, snakes, and even a lynx. Over the years, the legends surrounding the Death Cave grew, and residents started to believe the land at Two Guns was cursed. But it wasn't until Miller's arrival that the town ran into trouble. Many think Miller exacerbated the curse by leading tours into the Death Cave, which he began calling the Mystery Cave. Shockingly, he even sold the skulls of the Apaches who had died there to tourists as souvenirs. The legend of the curse continued to grow as misfortune befell Miller. His captured mountain lions attacked him twice, and his Gila monster, known for its poison that causes painful swelling, also bit him. Another incident attributed to the curse allegedly occurred when a drifter couple stayed the night at Two Guns. They robbed Miller's store and took off with substantial merchandise. Over the next few decades, people blamed the curse for several fires that occurred on the land. In 1929, the curse of two guns struck again when a fire destroyed the town's trading post. The original owner, Louise Cundiff, along with her new husband, rebuilt two guns entirely after Route 66's rerouting. And during the I-40 highway construction, workers designated an off-ramp specifically for two guns. A man named Benjamin Dreher bought two guns in the 1960s with the aim to revitalize it. He rebuilt the facilities and established a new zoo with a reptile exhibit. And it was around this time during a parking lot renovation that workers reportedly uncovered several unidentified graves. Though two guns looked like it was ready for a comeback, a fire, unfortunately, once again ripped through the complex, this time in 1971, and Two Guns has remained abandoned ever since. 
In 2011, a rumor began to circulate on the internet that a famous Hollywood actor had purchased two guns, though I'll tell you about that later on in this video. For now, let's explore two guns. You can see some of the camp way off in the distance there, but right here is the old mountain lion enclosure. Yes, they had a mountain lion enclosure here at Two Guns. Love that. Just look at this place. It was actually built, it looks a lot older than it is, but it was actually built to look old. So now that it is actually a few decades old, it looks even older than it actually is for good reason. So this is the entrance to the mountain lion enclosure. And right down here, right down these steps, you can actually see the pens and cages that they were kept in. Look at that. Just think of the conditions that these animals were kept in back when this was a roadside attraction. I can't imagine that it would have been good living on any level, just a commodity for tourists to come and gawk at. Just not a good scene at all. Not really sure what these two columns would have been. Probably, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't know if many of you will, because you probably wouldn't have remembered this place, but I am guessing that this held the two gun sign right here, directing tourists to come check out the zoo and the rest of the town. It's a little building, probably, I don't know, maybe a little power building that helped provide power to this place back in the day. When I first came here, there was a really cool Route 66 sign right on here. And now there's, you know what? An even cooler, original landlord, the natives. Yep, original landlords of this land indeed. I apologize for the sun being directly behind this shot, but this is the problem with being out here in the West, is there is kind of no real best time for the sun. Sometimes it's facing east, and in the evening when it's setting in the West, you can't really get anything either. So I love this though, very cool. And just south of the zoo and of two guns here is Canyon Diablo, the Devil's Canyon. Let's look at that. Somewhere in there, I am determined to find the Apache Death Cave. Might be for naught. I can't really find the exact location of it. I've known a few people that have found it, but for me, still remains a mystery, but I would love to step foot inside and just check it out for myself. You can see some, some more ruins off in the distance, right over there. Saw a few more ruins over here. Just gonna walk over this bridge and uh, check it out. So bear with me. 
like I said, the first time I was here, I didn't do an extensive explore of this place. So this is all new to me. As new to me as it is to those of you who have not been here before. So we're all doing this for the first time together, which is the best way to do things, I think. There we go. And I think there's a very good possibility that right over there, right over there is the death cave. We'll head over there right after this. First, I want to check this stuff out. Not really sure what purpose this building served for the roadside attraction of two guns, but I will be sure to leave uh, some information below this video. And you can find out for yourself if I'm able to find some. Look at this barbed wire right here. Be careful going through and under. Okay. Typical ruins. I mean, regardless of how old it was when it was built and how old it was meant to look like, still very cool. I love ruins of any sort. So, huge fan. Let's go take a perusal inside this. See if we can get another look of a look at what I think. I have a working theory here of where I think the Apache death cave is. Just over there by that, by that building, right on the ridge there. I think, I think, I could be completely wrong. So don't kill me if I am, but we're gonna find out very soon. There is highway or Interstate 40, right there. Look at that. Some transport trucks. That's how close this is to the interstate. Just looking and looks like there's some sort of underground storage space here. You can see that. Oh, a lot smaller than what I assumed it was. Shall we make our way over there? Let's do it. So a bit of a walk, a little walk adjacent to the canyon here, Diablo Canyon. But here I am, I found the other ruins and I am almost positive somewhere in here is the Apache Death Cave. So I am very determined to find this. Very cool though. Just taking a little peek here, a little perusal before I attempt to get down in there. I am looking for a ladder that was left over, so uh, that will be my first clue if I'm close or in the vicinity of the cave itself. For now, I'm just going on a whim. I wonder what this served as back in the day. There's a door, but I don't think you really need a door to check out what is inside here, which is a whole lot of nothing. And you are never going to believe it. I found it right there. There it is. The entrance to the Apache Death Cave. Got to traverse that and right underneath that little makeshift bridge is the Death Cave itself where 42 Apache Indians died. Oh, 
quite a tragic sight, but part of American history. If any place is haunted, and you know, a lot of people do say that this entire plot of land is cursed because of what happened here, and that cave down there is about as haunted as any place could be. And we're gonna take a peek. Because why not? We're here. All right, here we go. Which doesn't look completely safe, but uh, I will suss out the situation. I have been wanting to check this out for many years. Okay, it feels pretty solid. I will walk closer to the edge here. Just don't know. It's like someone was having a barbecue down here and feels a little heavy. A little bit of a heavy feeling down here. <clears throat> here we go. There it is. Yikes. That looks. Absolutely terrifying. Got a flashlight though, so we're gonna light the way. <clears throat> like I said, nothing good happened here. of a creepy place even without the history of what is attached to it kind of a strange smell like mustiness there is looks like part of the cave at the other side of this and has collapsed we can see some sunlight coming through there I don't think I'm gonna go too deeply in here. This looks like a man-made wall. Um, don't know what's on the other side of that. Let's take a peek down there. That's a whole other chamber. I don't know what that is. Okay, wow, look at this place. Side world is up there, probably about, um, I don't know, a good 25 feet underneath where I was just standing up there. The ruins directly above this place. I don't know, I guess strange feeling just knowing what happened here. Um, kind of sad. Uh, very tempted to go up there, but can I see anything down there? I don't know. I don't think it's worth it. I'm just going to stay on the main, uh, the main chamber here. Well, that's it. That's the, Apa pa that's the Apache death cave first glimpse inside perhaps some of you have seen it but for me my very first time and oh, a little out of breath climbing down in here crouching down and walking in there oh, nice little yeah wow I made it out and every explore I go on there is always one of these somewhere hidden and here the penis graffiti is right here at the mouth of the death cave look 
the little little testes form a little smile. Oh, it's graffiti. Even in dark times, you lighten the way. Like I said, that is something that I have long been wanting to see for myself, the Apache Death Cave, and now I finally have. It's been, it's been a few years of being on my bucket list, and hey, you just witnessed me crossing it off. And this is the other part of Two Guns that became the camp. And that building right over there, the collapsed one, that was standing about five years ago, six years ago, the last time I, was it seven years ago? I don't know. But that was standing, that was the camp. And I believe um, held a lot of cabins probably camp two guns yep and right over here is where the old pool is was it's not past tense because the pool is still here it's just not in use anymore look at that pretty neat looking I guess if you were into skateboarding, that would probably be a pretty sweet ride for you. Maybe not. There's really not really much to do in there. The sentiment, my sentiment on that is correct though. And you can see one right over there. We're, 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 we're ah, number two, the two Two Guns water towers that are still standing, looking a little worse for wear, seven years on, six years on, but still there. And as you can see, right way off in the distance, right there, that is where the death cave is. So you can approximate just how far away the camp was from the actual roadside attraction. How cool is this place? This is just such a little, a little golden nugget out here between Winslow, Arizona and Flagstaff. Just a cool little place that, you know, surprisingly is still in great condition considering how long it has been abandoned for. Just love this stuff live for this stuff really and it's unfortunate this was the original signage to two guns painted and spray painted over no longer denoting what this place once was believe it or not although this is a ghost town a former roadside attraction you'll never believe who is purported to own this place this entire property is owned by one man and you probably know that man his name is russell crow the australian superstar the australian actor gladiator fame he owns this property it was said that he bought this property back in 2011 and plan to use it for future film projects. I don't know what the validity to those rumors are, but I've read it enough times on the internet to believe it to be true. And so let's just report that as fact right now. Russell Crowe owns his place. If true, that's pretty cool. So one of the last things to close here at Two Guns would have been this place right here, which was the Two Guns service station. When the roadside attraction closed, this would have been the only reason for people to have pulled over when the I-40 bypassed Route 66. And when it went, well, the only reason people stop here now is why I'm stopping, which is to gawk 
at the remains of what once was. Let's take a peek inside. The two guns service station. Restrooms, check. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Some interesting graffiti though. Look at this place. Some of the nicer, I'm not a huge fan of graffiti, but I will say this is impressive. Kind of pretty in a way. I'm standing in the garage. So, you know, back in the 1930s, 1940s, this is where you would have pulled your little Ford over and got it serviced if you're having problems, maybe even an oil change. No more. Completely, absolutely got it. There's nothing left except for this. I assume this is a little is it a freezer or a fridge. The only thing that remains in this place. Not even the gas pumps are remaining. They're all gone. Everything. Well, that is it for me here in Two Guns, Arizona, which, you know, if I'm going to be totally honest with you, has always held a special place in my heart. One of my favorite ghost towns, probably because it's one of the first ghost towns that I ever came across. Also, the ghost story aspect is uh, very appealing to me. Who doesn't love a good ghost story? Although tragic. But then again, what ghost story isn't tragic? For now, it is the obscurest tourist saying so long. Take care of yourselves and stay beautiful until our next adventure. See you later.